Guys, something major is happening to Ethereum next week that's going to have a massive impact on the entire network and could have a significant impact on the Ethereum price itself. You know, the number two cryptocurrency by market cap, one of the most favored assets for the 2024 crypto bull run with insane network adoption and multiple Ethereum ETS pending in the pipeline for this year. Things are really shaping up for a bright year for Ethereum overall. I'm explaining this video today what this critical update is that you need to watch out for next week. You know, as a blockchain developer myself, who has worked the Ethereum protocol on pretty much every single day since 2017 and a long time ETH holder myself. So if you're around here, hey, I'm Gregory. And on this channel, I turn you into a blockchain master. So if that's something that you're interested in, then smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And while I'm a huge ETH bull and I'm super optimistic about the crypto market 2024, the absolute best way to take advantage of all this insane opportunity happening in crypto right now is to become a blockchain developer. And I can show you how to do that step by step from start to finish over at dappdiversity.com forward slash bootcamp. All right, so let's get into this. Obviously, nothing I'm saying in this video is designed to be financial advice. I'm not trying to get you to buy or sell any cryptocurrency based on this information. But let's set the stage for this big event in Ethereum next week. This big, big critical change is coming down the pike. So if you've been involved in crypto at all, or maybe you've experienced this yourself, you've heard the complaint that Ethereum is too slow and too expensive to use for mass adoption. And at times at net peak network activity, the, the network can be pretty expensive to use. But that's all about to change, starting with this network upgrade that's coming out next week. So why? Well, next week on March 13th, Ethereum is going to undergo a massive upgrade that can reduce the gas fees by anywhere between 10 and 100x. Let me say that again. Decrease the fees between 10 and 100x. And also increase the transaction throughput to up to 100,000 transactions per second. And in doing this, silence the biggest criticisms that Ethereum has that it's too slow and too expensive to use. It's about to get much faster and much cheaper. And of course, it's gonna have a massive impact on Ether, you know, the price itself. So let me break down exactly how that's gonna work. So this big upgrade that's coming out next week has to do with Ethereum's scalability, all right? So that's what I'm talking about. When you're making Ethereum faster and cheaper, you are improving the scalability of the blockchain. Now, how does Ethereum do that? Well, the whole strategy, which always has been, is to create what's called a layer two for Ethereum. So basically, this is kind of like a separate blockchain that sits on top of Ethereum where you do the transactions, you, know, you point your MetaMask to it, but you pay the gas fees in Ether and then these transactions are settled back on the Ethereum main chain. So it's kind of like a separate blockchain, but you need Ethereum in order for it to work. And so you can see a list of a lot of different Ethereum layer twos on a website like l2beat.com. You can see things like Arbitrum, Optimism, Starknet, Base, and Metis. And these are all like separate blockchains that run on their own, but they need Ethereum in order to work. And you can go use these layer twos right now, but if you look at the metrics, like Arbitrum has about 12 transactions per second. This is not really a big win over Ethereum layer one, but it is in terms of the fees. So you look at the fees for Arbitrum, costs about, you know, 41 cents to transfer ETH, about a dollar for a swap. But what if all these metrics absolutely explode? What if it costs, you know, one cent or just a few cents or in a cent ETH around, maybe 10 cents to do a swap? And what if you could get like 100,000 transactions per second for something like this? Well, that's exactly the road that we're headed on with this new upgrade that's coming out. So how exactly is that going to work? So this update has several things included with it. But the big difference is this thing called EIP 4844, which just stands for Ethereum Improvement Proposal. It's got a number. Basically, people propose what to do about Ethereum. It goes to this voting process and the network gets updated. OK, and it's got all these different things. But I really want to talk about is this new type of transaction that works this way. OK, so let's look at how layer two scaling works in the first place. So if you're going to scale a blockchain, you have a couple of options. You know, you could basically try to put more transactions into a single block and just increase the block. But that's not what Ethereum's doing because at some point it gets too expensive to run the validators and they want to keep decentralization to incentivize more people to do it. So that's why you have layer twos. So what layer twos are currently doing, it's taking a bunch of different transactions and rolling them up. Okay, it's called rollups. And then taking a reference to those transactions and posting that back onto the Ethereum main chain like this. You can see like, you know, say Ethereum has 10 transactions in a block for easy math. 
Well, what if you could put 100 transactions from a layer two into a single transaction on Ethereum layer one? Well, that's 100x scalability. Now, we're not quite there yet, and it still costs money to post these transactions onto the main network. But what this update is going to do is give a special type of footprint to put these transactions onto the network so that it requires very little data so that you can increase a ton of transactions into one place, thus making it much faster and much, much cheaper. So how much faster and how much cheaper? Well, again, it could be anywhere between 10 to 100 times cheaper and also increase the transactions per second by up to 100,000. So imagine a world where you could basically send cryptocurrency around for one cent. That's like what we're talking about right here. And also, you know, have 100,000 transactions come through at a time with no issues. Well, that's the road that we're headed on starting next week. Now, that being said, this comes with a couple of really important caveats. Okay. So after, you know, the 13th, if you go take your MetaMask and you point it to the Ethereum network and you try to use the actual Ethereum blockchain, it's not going to be faster. It's not going to be cheaper. OK, there's going to be a lot of people watch this video, get confused, say, hey, I thought you said this was going to happen. It did happen, but you're still not doing the right thing. Because like I was saying before, this is for layer twos, okay? So the Ethereum network itself, layer one, is not going to get faster. It's not going to get cheaper. That's not really ever going to happen. But that's why we use layer twos in order to do this. Now, the other important caveats is that we're simply paving the way for this, okay? And we're not gonna get the full benefits of 100,000 transactions per second, you know, starting next week. We're not gonna see fees drop to, you know, one cent per transaction starting next week. This is gonna be the starting line for that, where we see things start to approach those levels over time. But I do expect an insane boost after this network upgrade goes live. Now, that being said, how will this impact the price of Ether? You know, the, the cryptocurrency that runs the Ethereum network itself. Well, I do anticipate this to actually be bullish for the Ethereum price for several reasons, okay? Number one is, you know, we are in a bull market for 2024. Nobody's got a crystal ball to know exactly how long that lasts. But, you know, fundamentally speaking, you know, bull markets tend to, you know, drive around hype and narratives. And, you know, if we see this issue resolved for Ethereum, and that's going to be really bullish, okay? And can, and can pour gas into the fire to boost the price of the cryptocurrency itself, okay? That's just what happens in bull markets. But behind that, there are actually some fundamental benefits that I think can't help with the price of Ether itself. And that's with demand for the network and how this demand can actually accrue to the price of Ether increasing over time, okay? So generally speaking, the more people use a blockchain, okay, the more the cryptocurrency that's inextricably linked with that blockchain and the gas token uh, goes up in value. Basically, this whole idea of Metcalfe's law, the more people on a network, the more valuable that cryptocurrency becomes for several different reasons. OK, and as the fees get cheaper, there's more incentive to use Ethereum, which can have a trickle down effect to the price of Ether, you know, long term. It's fair value, not necessarily it's bull market value, but it's fair value. OK. And now when you combine that with the fact that ETH is now deflationary, okay, this happened since the last bull market. So if you checked out and you're in the bear market and you're just coming back or maybe here for the first time, you don't know this, uh, Ether is getting burned every single time a transaction is getting created, okay, and put on the blockchain. And so you can see the merge happened in September, 2022, and the supply of ETH has been dropping down only. It's like the Bitcoin halving happening every single day. And so if the network demand's going up and up and up like crazy, more and more ETH is going to get burned as a result of this activity. And the supply of ETH is going to just keep going down. And if the supply goes down and the demand increases, then that, of course, has an impact on the price itself by simple supply and demand economics. Okay, not just that. Again, we have multiple Ethereum ETF approvals in the pipeline, which is going to open the doors for institutional adoption. Basically, big players who want to get exposure to ETH through these means. And if you have a network that's just increases scalability that has you know the the biggest momentum at becoming you know the world computer with blockchains that's getting you know burned every single second that's a huge vote of confidence for them to bet on this network and get exposure to eth that will also you know increase demand for the asset itself which of course will have a significant impact on the price all right so that's a big overview of this massive change that's coming out for ethereum next week with the dankun upgrade i've been talking about this for the better part of a year on my channel and it's finally here okay so let me know what you think down in the comment section below. Is a Dankun upgrade going to be a big deal? Is it not going to be a big deal? Are we going to see the types of scalability benefits that are promised here? I want to hear from you. And whenever you're finished leaving your comment, make sure you smash that like button down below for the YouTube algorithm and subscribe. And if you want to take advantage of all the crazy opportunity happening in this space right now, the absolute best way to do that is to become a blockchain developer. Whether you're trying to create your own app, create your own bot, you know, break in the industry, increase your salary well past 100K, I can share to do that step-by-step step from start to finish over at dappadiversity.com forward slash bootcamp.
You really don't have to be an expert to get started today. I've helped people with zero coding experience become real world blockchain developers in a matter of months. So that's all I've got. Until next time, thanks for watching Dapp University.